Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. In this video, we're going to be talking about FTP. Now, FTP is a technology that allows you to upload your files onto a server. In this case, we're going to be uploading our website onto to a Bluehost shared hosting platform where we can then view the website at an actual domain. So let's get going on that right now. So in the last video, we talked a little bit about hosting. I recommended that you sign up for a hosting plan at Bluehost using the Level Up Tuts referral link if you would like to help us, or you can sign up on your own or with another shared hosting platform like HostGator or something like that. Either way, you should now have a domain which you got for free with your hosting, and you should have access to either the Bluehost cPanel here if you're following along, or a similarly looking cPanel from another hosting site. Now. The cPanel offers a lot of great stuff. I'm not going to get in depth too much because some of these are a little bit different. Usually, typically, they offer things like one click installs or backups or file managers and things like that. However, really, what we want to be doing is accessing our information for FTP. Now, FTP or File Transfer Protocol allows us to take files from our computer and put them onto the internet. And it's not just onto the internet, it's onto a specific directory on a computer somewhere somewhere else that we have access to and is attached to our domain. So what we want to do is click FTP. You'll notice that we already have some generated FTP accounts. Let's just go ahead and make our own. We're going to just say Scott at, and then it has my domain name here, password. I'm just going to make this something easy. Again, it's telling me that it's weak. However, I'm just doing it easy right now for the sake of this video. I'll delete this user afterwards. Now you could even have it generate a password for you if you'd like. Now you can have it select the directory as well, but we don't want necessarily anything selected here. So let's go ahead and just click create FTP account. You'll notice that upon submit, it's going to tell you that you actually need a directory path here. So because of that, we're going to be using just this public underscore HTML like it's suggested to use. Now when we create FTP account, it should say account created. We now have our account right here. And while your current hosting platform might not have the exact same interface to this, it should have these similar things where you're essentially creating a login, a password, and uh, potentially choosing what directory to go to. Now let's go ahead and download an FTP application. For this video, I'm going to suggest using CyberDuck, not because CyberDuck is the best. In fact, I wouldn't necessarily typically use CyberDuck. I like to use an application called Transmit. However, Transmit being paid and CyberDuck being free uh, makes it much more difficult to follow along. In addition, CyberDuck is also available for OS X or Windows. So I'm going to download CyberDuck. That way you can all follow along and we can have an FTP going in no time. Now while this is downloading, I wanted to show you something in Bluehost's FTP, uh, which is nice that they have this. We and many other hosting platforms have something similar. We can click Configure FTP Client, and it's going to give us these settings. Now, what's cool is that we have FTP settings directly for CyberDuck that you can open another panel. It's going to tell you to download and install uh, and have the configuration going. But it's nice they give you a username, they give you the FTP server and the port, so you don't have to guess on any of that. Sometimes with different hosting platforms, this information is not exactly what you'd expect, especially like a shared hosting plan like we have with Bluehost here. So it's nice to have these values here explicitly given to us. Not that CyberDuck has been installed. I have it open right here, and you'll notice we it might not be immediately obvious what we need to do. However, what we want to do is click this open connection button, and you'll notice we have some what may be become familiar looking fields. First, we have the server, which is listed here as the FTP server. So we can say ftp.greensites.co. Obviously, you want this to be your own information and not mine. And then for username, we have this as our username. This whole string here being bolded is our username. And again, we would want to enter our password where it says password. Nice that the port 21 is set as the default. And you can choose to add this to your keychain if you'd like. So that way we don't have to re-enter this information every single time. Now when we click connect, 
you'll see some information down here. Now this is asking us if we want to use an unsecured connection. For right now we can just say continue. And what you'll notice here is what we have is a bunch of files. You'll see a default.html, you'll see a sites folder, you'll see uh, some backups, we'll see a 400 page. Let's actually go to this greensites.co and see what we see right now. So you see that we're actually getting this permission denied. Now what happens if we just create a basic index.html page? Or better yet, let's just actually drag in our page here. We can just drag in this index.html. I'm just dragging in, make sure it doesn't land in one of your folders. And as you can see, as we dragged it in, we now have this upload complete green light and it's uploaded this file. Now you should see that the index file is directly on the list here. If we refresh our page on greensites.co, you'll now see we're no longer getting a permissions problem, but we're getting this our first website. Now we didn't upload any of our other CSS or any of that stuff. So let's go ahead and do that now. You might be wondering why exactly we got a permissions error before, but now everything's working just fine. Well, the main problem was that there was no index file. If we remember, we went over in the very first few videos, we need an index file. Uh, it hit the server, the server looked into this folder and it was like, I'm looking for index.html, where is it? It's not here, okay, there's a problem. And because this is a directory, if it had different permissions, all of the files in this directory would have been available to be seen. However, the permissions are set so a way that users can't see all of the files in a directory without you explicitly telling them that it's okay. So now what we can do is let's just drag over everything. It's going to ask us what's good to overwrite and what's not good to overwrite. For instance, I have the index file already here, and because of that, it's asking if it's okay to overwrite it. Well, yes, I think it is. Now, you should keep in mind when it's overwriting a file, that file is gone forever. So the version of index.html that we had on our server before is no longer there, although it is replaced with the exact same version. Now, when we go to refresh, you'll see that greensites.co and if you go if you go to this URL at the time of viewing this video, you'll see it looking like this as well. Uh, you'll see that greensites.co looks exactly like our homepage. The only difference is instead of having this long path, it doesn't even say index.html. It just says greensites.co. Now these links at the bottom of our page, which didn't work at all, will now take you to the correct page, and the forward slash one will not take you to the root of your file directory, but will take you to the root of the website. So we now have greensites.co on the internet. It exists. It is something. So the next step is going to be getting our local environment, working environment, to act and function more like our hosted environment with a proper and so it's not just loading this off of an HTML file. So like I said in the next video, we're going to show you how you can set up a server locally on your computer. And then from there, we're just going to improve this site dramatically. We're going to improve the way it looks. We're going to make it more modern. And we're going to show you how this can work in mobile as well. Because right now, this site, when you make it smaller, it just gets squished and it doesn't look very good. So what we're gonna do is take this and make this design work on all browsers. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Love to hear from you, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.